Hi, Raymond and I are going to show you how to work out number 115 challenge problem in chapter 9. The main component of acid rain, H2SO4, forms from SO2 pollutant in the atmosphere via these three steps. Draw the Lewis structure for each of the species in these steps and use bond energies and Hess's law to estimate the enthalpy change in reaction for the overall process. All right, so our first step is to write out the Lewis dot for the first reaction, A, SO2 plus OH is HSO3. So our Lewis dot for SO2 is S with two double bonds to O, our OH is just a single bond, and our HSO3, S is a double bond to O, we got two single bonds to O, and we have an OH thing. Then we go to the table 9-3 in chapter 9 and use the bond energies. So we have a sulfur double bonded with oxygen is 523 kilojoules, kilojoules per mole. And then you find that you have a sulfur single bonded with oxygen is 265 and oxygen single bonded with hydrogen is 464. We can use the same steps for the reactants. And then we find the enthalpy change of the reaction by subtracting the reactants from the products, which gives us 7 kilojoules per mole. Our next step is step two, where we combine HSO3 plus O2 to go to SO3 H double O. And so as you can see here, we have again sulfur double bonded with oxygen, and then two single bonds with oxygen and a hydrogen, a double bond for our O2. We got our S again with a double bond to oxygen and two single bonds to oxygen, and we have a hydrogen bonded with oxygen and then a single bond again with oxygen. Again, we're going to use the bond energies and do the same steps that we just completed in step one. Um, this will give you almost the exact same numbers depending on what the equation said. We're going to solve again for the enthalpy change in reaction, doing the reactants, the products minus the reactants to get negative 356. And step three is much of the same. You've heard it all before. So in the final step, we're going to use Hess's law to estimate the change in enthalpy of the reaction. We're going to go back to our... Um, are given and we're going to look and see that we have HSO3 on the product side and the reactants so we can cancel those out since they have the same bond energy and then we're also going to find that SO3 is on the reactant side and the products and we're also going to cancel those out. So we're going to look at what we have left in the reactants. We have SO2 plus OH plus O2 plus H2O and we're going to see what bond energies we already found. We also have HOO and H2SO4 left on the products. So we're going to subtract the reactant bond energies from the products and solve for the final um, change in enthalpy of the reaction.